Hi, I'm Dr. Randy White, and we've been walking through the Psalms. We've been looking at them as prophecy, beginning in Psalm 61. We have in the second book of the Psalms, we have uh, messianic words as the Messiah comes as the representative of Israel. And in Psalm 61, we see that this representative of Israel, I believe the Messiah, speaks of Israel's coming Sabbath rest. That is, that day of the millennium, Psalm 67 is a psalm that sings forth the millennium millennial joy. And the representative of Israel says, God be gracious to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that your way may be known in the earth, your salvation among all the peoples. This prayer is going to be answered. This will be a word that is proclaimed in the coming days when the people of Israel Say, let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. You know, in David's day, that would have been an unusual thing to pray. Uh, for the God was seen as such a possession of Israel, if you will. And here they are singing, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. Now that's exactly what happens in the coming kingdom of God. For you will judge the peoples with uprightness and guide the nations on the earth. That is the coming millennium. When God, through his Savior, through our Messiah, Jesus Christ, comes and he will judge the peoples with uprightness and guide the nations on the earth. So let the peoples praise you, all of them, O oh God. Let the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its produce. God, our God, blesses us. God blesses us that all the ends of the earth may fear him. Now, friend, you know what? When you and I come and we're praying like the Lord taught us to pray, thy kingdom come. This is what we're praying for. In fact, if you just need a little insight next time you pray, thy kingdom come, turn to Psalm 67 and say, now this is what I mean when I mean thy kingdom come. I mean God is gracious. He makes his way known upon the earth, his salvation to all nations. He judges the nations and he rules the nations and he guides the nations and the people, Jew and Gentile, will come and praise him and the earth will yield its produce. So I not only pray, thy kingdom come, but I pray, come quickly, Lord Jesus. I'm Dr. Randy White, and we're walking through the Psalms step by step, looking at the prophecy of the Psalms.